What would you say is the number one thing that's keeping people poor? Behavior. You'd say it's just behavior. Well, number one, man. I don't know. How much of that is student loans? Car payments. People, people. Oh. Look. Yeah. What's keeping people For poor? For people on our show, the guests would probably say my mental health. That's probably what they would really? say. I'm, the people that's on my show from sitting across from it, behavior, the change actually jumping in and starting to take control and becoming a, a financial adult for the first time in their life. You know, a lot of behavior based things in terms of the number one debt, man, we've had people, it's been, it's been a recent thing where people consolidate their debt and then they just build up right back on credit cards. So just trying to finesse the system mm -hmm. has been a big thing that has gotten a lot of people in you trouble. Know, you know, what's crazy is I used to be, and still am uh, very pro debt consolidation. I think yeah. the services from a mathematical standpoint yes. make a lot of sense. Yes. If you have 30 grand of debt and you're paying 30% in interest, consolidate it, uh, you know, combine all those credit cards, get one company now that you're paying 15%. Still high, but now you've consolidated, you're saving 15%. Dave Ramsey is very against that. Mm -hmm. And I've always looked at that advice and think, that's stupid. Mathematically, you're saving 15%. Why wouldn't you do that? But he says for the exact reason that you said, because people end up debt, consolidation, uh, debt consolidating, feeling like I've accomplished something, I've already got it taken care of, but now I could open up another credit card since I'm yeah. technically saving money. It's free, so I'm going to get that credit card. But he's wrong, and you're wrong. It's not one size fits all. Yeah. For the vast majority of people, mostly on the show, yeah, it's stupid. Don't do it. You're going to build it up back up. But if you can do it, if you're disciplined, if you've proven to yourself that you will be able to manage it, absolutely save that money. I don't really get the being pro or anti. Like, mm -hmm. you need to be one or the other. Yeah. Like, I don't really get but, why. But how like do that. people know if they're disciplined enough to do that? Pro a track record, proving it. If you're, if you're showing that on a credit card, you're only putting gas on it and you're paying it off every single month. If you're able to prove to yourself that you've become more financially disciplined, you're budgeting, you're sitting down once a month, seeing where things are going and actually assigning every single cent of your money to specific tasks and you're not spending money you don't know, you're proving to yourself yeah. if over a course of maybe a quarter, let's just say, then I think you're ready to take the next step into something.